in this lecture we are discussing rotational spectra of diatomic molecules we saw in the previous lecture that spectroscopy of microwave region is concerned with the study of rotating molecules since the rotational transition of molecules typically in the microwave region it is also called microwave spectroscopy rotational spectra is shown by molecules which possess a permanent dipole moment hence homonuclear diatomics like fluorine hydrogen nitrogen etc which do not having dipole moment that is the dipole moment is zero and all tetrahedral and octahedral molecules symmetric molecules like carbon dioxide do not give rotational spectrum while heteronuclear diatomics that having a permanent dipole moment and the other unsymmetrical molecules simply water can give rise to rotational spectrum the rotation of a three dimensional body is quite complex and it is convenient to resolve it into rotational components about three mutually perpendicular direction through the center of gravity the center of gravity is the principal axis of rotation as any moving objects experience a moment of inertia which determines how much it resists resist the motion a rotating three dimensional body has three principal moments of inertia along each axis designated as ie ib and ic molecules are classified into different groups according to their principal moment of inertia first one is the linear molecules like hcl carbon disulfide carbon dioxide etc here all the atoms are arranged in a straight line the three direction of rotations are first one is about bond axis normally we are considering the bond axis as the z axis second one is the end over rotation in plane that is in the y z plane and the other is the end over rotation perpendicular to the first plane that is in the x z plane or out of plane about the bond axis ia will be very small and it can be approximated as zero as the end over end rotation gives the same moment of inertia for linear molecules ia equal to zero and ib equal to ic next one is the symmetric top consider methyl fluoride where the three hydrogen atoms are bonded tetrahedrally to carbon as in the case of linear molecules the end over end rotation in and out of plane are still identical but the moment of inertia about the cf bond axis is not negligible in this case since it involves rotation of three comparatively massive hydrogen atoms therefore for symmetric tops ia not equal to 0 ib equal to ic 
also we can write i a not equal to i b equal to i c they have two subdivisions i a equal to sorry i b equal to i c can be greater than i a and i b equal to i c can be less than i a the first group is known as prolate symmetric top molecules where methyl fluoride is the example next is the oblate symmetric top here example is bcl3 the next category is spherical top molecules an example is methane which will have all the three moment of inertia identical since they since they possess no dipole moment due to its symmetry it does not give any rotational spectrum the fourth category is the asymmetric top molecules to which majority of molecules belong and have all the moment of inertia different a simple example is water all these types of molecules except symmetric top would give rise to rotational spectra we shall discuss the rotational spectra of simplest linear diatomic molecule for all the other types it can be easily extended here we are considering two atoms having masses masses m1 and m2 which are separated by an equilibrium bond distance r 0 the molecule is rotating about an axis passing through the center of mass or center of gravity and r1 is the distance from the center of mass to the mass m1 to the atom m1 r2 is the distance from center of mass to the atom having mass m2 we assume the molecule as a rigid rotor that is its nuclear distance does not change during rotation the moment of inertia of the molecule about center of gravity or center of mass is given by ic equal to m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square as i equal to sigma mi ri square that you have studied in the plus 2 classes for rotation about center of gravity m1 r1 equal to m2 r2 from which r1 can be written as m2 r2 by m1 and r2 m1 r1 by m2 applying this in the equation of r equation of r1 and r2 we will get this type of equation and rearranging it will get r1 r2 into m1 plus m2 for a rigid rotor the equilibrium bond distance r0 equal to r1 plus r2 from this equation r1 equal to r0 minus r2 and r2 equal to r0 minus r1 here if you are substituting 
R2 as R0 minus R1, we will get R1 as M2 R0 by M1 plus M2. Similarly, R2 becomes M1 R0 by M1 plus M2. If we substitute these values of R1 and R2 to the equation, we will get the equation as and when shortened, it will become M1 M2 by M1 plus M2 into R0 square. That is I equal to mu R0 square where mu which is M1 M2 by M1 plus M2 is called the reduced mass of the system. This equation I equal to mu R square defines moment of inertia conveniently in the form of in terms of atomic mass and bond length. You should keep in mind the equation I equal to mu R square more than this derivation and if you are interested you can work out the derivation by your by your own and you can refer your prescribed text, text or any other physical chemistry text containing spectroscopy chapter that is the principles of physical chemistry by Puri Sharma and also fundamentals of molecular spectroscopy by Bandel etc.